Supremacism is an ideology which holds that a particular class of people is superior to others, and that it should dominate, control, and subjugate others, or is entitled to do so. The supposed superior class of people can be an age, race classification of human beings species, ethnicity, religion, gender social construct, sexuality, language, social class, ideology, nation, or culture, or any other part of a population. Sexual Some feminist theorists have argued that in patriarchy, a standard of male supremacism is enforced through a variety of cultural, political, and interpersonal strategies. Since the 19th century there have been a number of feminist movements opposed to male supremacism, usually aimed at achieving equal legal rights and protections for women in all cultural, political and interpersonal relations. Topic. Racial Centuries of European colonialism in the Americas, Africa, Australia, Oceania, and Asia were justified by white supremacist attitudes. During the 19th century, the phrase, the white man's burden, referring to the thought that whites have the obligation to make the societies of the other peoples more civilized, was widely used to justify imperialist policy as a noble enterprise. Thomas Carlyle, known for his historical account of the French Revolution, The French Revolution, a history, which inspired Charles Dickens' novel A Tale of Two Cities, argued that European supremacist policies were justified on the grounds they provided the greatest benefit to inferior native peoples. However, even at the time of its publication in 1849, Carlyle's main work on the subject, The Occasional Discourse on the Negro Question, was received poorly by his contemporaries. Before the American Civil War, the Confederate States of America was founded with a constitution that contained clauses restricting the government's ability to limit or interfere with the institution of Negro slavery. In the Cornerstone speech, Confederate Vice President Alexander Stevens declared that one of the Confederacy's foundational tenets was white supremacy over black slaves. Following the war, a secret society, the Ku Klux Klan, was formed in the South. Its purpose was to restore white supremacy after the Reconstruction period, even though there still was white, Protestant supremacy in the United States, at the time. The group preached supremacy over all other races, as well as supremacy over Jews, Catholics, and other minorities. Cornell West, an African American philosopher, writes that black supremacist religious views arose in America as part of black Muslim theology in response to white supremacism. During the early 20th century until the end of World War II, known as the pre 1945 Showa era, in Japan, the propaganda of the Empire of Japan used the old concept of Hako Ichu to support the idea that the Yamato were a superior race, destined to rule Asia and the Pacific. Many documents, such as Kokutai no Hongi, Shinman no Michi, and an investigation of global policy with the Yamato race as nucleus, discussed this concept of Japanese supremacy. In Africa, black southern Sudanese allege that they are subjected to a racist form of Arab supremacy, which they equate with the historic white supremacism of South African apartheid. The alleged genocide in the ongoing war in Darfur has been described as an example of Arab racism. In Asia, ancient Indians considered all foreigners as barbarians. The Muslim scholar Al Biruni wrote that the Indians called foreigners impure. A few centuries later, Dubois observes that Hindus look upon Europeans as barbarians totally ignorant of all principles of honor and good breeding. In the eyes of a Hindu, a pariah outcast and a European are on the same level. The Chinese viewed the Europeans as repulsive, ghost-like creatures, and even devils. The Chinese writers also referred to the Europeans as barbarians. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Germany. From 1933 to 1945, Nazi Germany, under the rule of Adolf Hitler, promoted the idea of a superior, Aryan Herenvolk, or master race. The state's propaganda advocated the belief that Germanic peoples, whom they called Aryans, were a master race or a Herenvolk that was superior to the Jews, Slavs, and Romani people, so-called Gypsies. Arthur de Gobineau, a French racial theorist and aristocrat, blamed the fall of the ancient regime in France on racial intermixing, which he argued had destroyed the purity of the Nordic race. Gobineau's theories, which attracted a strong following in Germany, emphasized the existence of an irreconcilable polarity between Aryan and Jewish cultures. 
Religious Christian Some academics and writers claim that Christian supremacism was a motivation for the Crusades in the Holy Land, as well as for Crusades against Muslims and pagans throughout Europe. The Atlantic slave trade has been attributed in part to Christian supremacism as well. The Ku Klux Klan has been described as a white supremacist Christian organization, as are many other white supremacist groups, such as the Posse Comitatus and the Christian Identity and Positive Christianity movements. Muslim Some academics and writers also allege Muslim or Islamic supremacism. Others claim that the Quran and other Islamic documents always speak of tolerant, protective beliefs, which have been misused, misquoted, and misinterpreted by both Islamic extremists and Islamophobes. Examples of how supremacists have exploited the name of Islam include the Muslim participation in the African slave trade, the early 20th century pan-Islamism promoted by Abdul Hamid II, the jizya and rules of marriage in Muslim countries being imposed on non-Muslims, the majority Muslim interpretations of the rules of pluralism in Malaysia, and defensive supremacism practiced by some Muslim immigrants in Europe. Some writers posit that Islam, unlike other religions, positively commands its adherents to impose its religious law on all peoples, believers and unbelievers alike, whenever possible and by any means necessary. <inaudible> <inaudible> Jewish Some academics and writers allege Jewish supremacism, often in relation to Israel and Zionism. Author Minna Razin writes that 17th-century Jews who lived in Jerusalem were supremacist in their views that they were superior over other Jews. Elon Pape, an Israeli historian, writes that the first Aliyah to Israel "...established a society based on Jewish supremacy." Joseph Massad, a professor of Arab studies, holds that "...Jewish supremacism always has been a "...dominating principle in religious and secular Zionism." The Anti-Defamation League and Southern Poverty Law Center condemn writings about Jewish supremacism by Holocaust denier, former Grand Wizard of the KKK, and conspiracy theorist, David Duke, as anti-Semitic, in particular, his book, Jewish Supremacism, My Awakening to the Jewish Question. Kevin B. MacDonald, known for his theory of Judaism as a group evolutionary strategy has also been accused by the ADL and his own university psychology department of being anti-Semitic, and white supremacist in his writings on the subject. However, prominent rabbis have, in fact, explicitly made claims regarding purported Jewish superiority. See also Notes <laughs>